Hey guys, today I'm flying the Cheerson CX-10, my very first nano quadcopter. I finally fixed it this past weekend. After many flights, it wasn't taking off anymore and I figured it was an issue with the built-in battery. The battery wasn't holding a charge anymore, so I removed it. I used some parts around the house to do this mod and at the same time, I wanted to make the battery easily removable so I can swap it out between charges. I'm using these Turnigy 160 milliamp hour batteries from my Blade MSR. In order to connect the battery to the CX-10, I created an extension cable to plug it into the charging port. Two points on the PCB also needs to be bridged to allow the CX-10 to run off the external battery. The battery is then held in place with a zip tie on the bottom and you have to make sure that the switch is also in the on position and the CX-10 is calibrated on a level surface before taking off. As you can see, it works. Flight times are a bit less than normal, about four minutes, but certainly better than what I was getting before, which was nothing. I think the 160 milliamp hour is the limit for this type of uh, quadcopter. I'll see if I can make a cutout so I can put the new battery in the empty uh, battery bay. However, I think the center of gravity would be a bit off. With a zip tie, I can slide it around and adjust the center of gravity. Again, I'm using my Volcara Devo 7E with deviation firmware to control the CX-10. This version of the Cheerson CX-10 is the blue uh, PCB version and is supported under the nightly builds of deviation. I can't say enough good things about the Devo 7E with the deviation firmware. It makes flying these mini quads and helis so much better and it works with my whole fleet of uh, aircraft. One transmitter to rule them all. So this was just a quick fix to get my CX-10 off the ground again. It was my very first quadcopter and I'm glad it still works. New and better quads have since been released, but it's still fun to zip around the house with it. If you're looking for something similar, check out the SEMA X12S, which is uh, very similar to the CX-10, slightly bigger, but it flies about the same. Anyways, that's it for this flight video. Hope you like it. And if you do, like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you next time.